Hey guys, Chris with Patriot Pressure Washing again. Just a little update to the rig here uh, from the video I posted, um, what was that, two weeks ago, I think? So I did go and actually redo my proportioner uh, with, with the Pentair valves. Um, I actually found that stainless steel manifold at Home Depot, of all places. Uh, and it has two extra spots, so eventually I will put um, another valve in there for my surfactant uh, just if I can get room <laughs> on the trailer now that's kind of a small trailer how I have it set up um, I can't do a whole lot to it just because technically it's not mine I'm actually borrowing it from somebody for now just to uh, get everything going here so yes there is the proportioner so I'm happy with how that came out but what I really wanted to show was my remote box. So instead of building a, uh, a downstream remote for my pressure washer, I decided to do one for my soft wash system. So you can see I've got half inch hoses uh, all throughout. Um, I know in, uh, in doing some research, most guys are, uh, are using the half inch, especially for this. Uh, I did upgrade my pump to a uh, the Remco 7 gallon a minute, so that gives me a little bit more distance. Uh, and it was a better pump than the one I had on there, quite honestly. But back to my uh, downstream remote here. So I just really did it off of the stuff that was really on YouTube. You know, guys I see building the exact same box. Um, so I have my, you know, obviously the strobe light, the power button on the outside. Really, it's nothing different, you know, than on the inside. I've actually got the um, half-inch stainless ball valve. So nothing new there. You guys have seen that stuff before. Uh, what I did add actually just now, and I saw somebody else do it, um, and I'm not going too crazy with it. You know, the guy put a voltage meter on it and also a, uh, basically a, uh, what is that? A cigarette lighter adapter so you can plug other stuff in. I didn't want to go that route. I didn't want to put too much stuff on my battery. You know, I don't want to drain it too fast. So I did end up adding a voltage meter. And this one, technically, it actually has USB charging on it. So it's not on right now. If I turn on my box and then come over here, kind of hard to see. Of course, it is LED and LED messes with the, uh, the camera a little bit. But that's actually registering at 12.1 volts. So I'm good there. So I can't keep an eye on this. And you can actually see through there so it is waterproof it gives me a good idea of how much juice is in the battery and of course I do have a, a solar trickle charger I can actually throw that on there uh, when I'm actually at a job but I do try and make sure it's charged up before I leave so that is the remote box that I'm really excited about guys